I was just sunning myself on a brisk sub-zero Iowa morning, contemplating life and wondering how complacent corporate media can really be. Little did I know, in a few hours, I would have my answer. On this frigid day in Iowa, a day like any other day, preceding the first in the nation caucuses to begin the process to elect the next president of the United States of America, Life was peaceful until. Hello there. Hello there. Hey. Who are you, and what's going on here today? Well, <laughs> somebody want to? Can anybody tell me? We're going to visit uh, the campaign headquarters of uh, Barack Obama. He has uh, he has given people so far in his presidential campaign the impression of being against the war, um, but so far. Uh, his position has been merely res referencing a speech he made back in 2002. Uh, but from that, he really hasn't been anti-war. So uh, what we're here to do is uh, is to challenge that uh, that myth. Well, you know Hi, I'm Brian Terrell. I'm with the with the, the Soda Pop campaign. Okay. Campaign of of uh, what we're calling. I, I I delivered a letter here back in October to to, to uh, for the senator. Okay. Uh, we're asking the senator to make a firm commitment to uh, get the troops out of Iraq. We're very disappointed in, in uh, his plans that would leave forty to sixty thousand troops there almost indefinitely. I'd actually like to ask the members of the media to leave now because we are actually in a working space. So if folks want to respect the folks of the of our volunteers to leave, we'd appreciate that. Okay? How long can they stay here? I'm under the social media. It's, uh, uh, like a I'm asking you to go anywhere public. Thank you. Is this uh, like a gag on the media? No, it's not. But you can't gag us. I'm asking you politely to um, and We'd like to ask all of you to join are. us in a moment of silence to remember <coughs> These people who are enduring the consequences of our war, and um, we invite you to respectfully join us in a moment of silence to remember those people in Iraq, those who are American soldiers, those who are Iraqis, um, knowing that they're enduring consequences of a war that in some ways we can only guess at. So again, those of you who are members of the media, um, we'd ask you to clear room for our volunteers who are trying to come in and out of this space and use it for work. So, I think you guys have gotten everything that you need. Well, actually, there's one other need, and we feel a great need to remember. Which one, so, I feel so that, I'll have you, are you authorized to speak to I am, but I have to talk to you outside. And you're asking me to leave. I am? That's unusual, you know. Most campaigns want the media. Yeah, okay. We'll step outside, we can talk about it if you'd like. Are there are others who would like to join us outside, please. Be happy to talk to you out there. Uh, you know, what do you think about the about them tossing the media out? Are you, uh, I mean, you're obviously a press person, and has that ever, have you ever seen that happen before? I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff, man. I mean, besides... <laughs> I'm not surprised by anything. <laughs> you guys, have yeah. you ever been tossed out of a, of a campaign office before? Uh, we never uh, actually filmed inside one, so there, we don't really have any... Oh. Okay, you mean here? Yeah. Okay, who, I'm just curious as to who... I'm sorry? German, from Germany. Oh, really? So our experience with filming and getting kicked out of campaign offices is, like, minute. Well, what do you think <laughs> about it? <laughs> what do you think about it? Are you filming? Huh? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Well, well, like, yes, it takes one to know one, man. These are more United States soldiers who died. Aziz Hussein Khader, Mullah Abdullah. With volunteers coming in all the time, it presented a bit of a problem with all the, uh, activity in the office. People turn out tomorrow night. Right. How crucial is that for you guys? Uh, it's very important. And you know, we've we've uh, worked very hard over the course of the last 10 months since since Senator Obama announced his candidacy for president to build a strong statewide grassroots operation here in Iowa uh, and have a network of people here in Iowa who are committed to change, committed to supporting this campaign and will stand for change and stand for Barack Obama on caucus night. Can you Thanks so okay. much. No problem. Thank you. Josh, do you got a statement on what, the, what these anti-war folks are doing? Nope. You gonna have one? Nope. You're not gonna right comment now. on it? All right now. I'm curious as to why you're sending the press out. Too. So, well, um, are you guys gonna be out? Are you gonna be there tomorrow night? Yeah. Have a good one. All right. I'm curious as to why you're the press out.
You guys can have something later? Uh, we may. We may. We'll definitely let you know. But if you guys just wait on the sidewalk until then, we'll, we'll get you something. Okay? What, what's, this, what's, uh, hey, what's the problem with having the press What can I do for again? you? You don't want to answer the question? We would like to see if we can get some people uh, phoning and stuff. Hey, Actually, look, there's a so bunch of protesters in there that they don't want you to see. That's all right. I don't care. You don't care about <laughs> it? <laughs> hey, Bobby, will you give me a map, please? Really? Or what's the deal? What is so it about it that you don't care? You should ask for Sarah Leonard. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is our GOTC center, and there are all kinds of folks like knocking on doors and stuff and walk packets and all that kind of stuff. So, like, they'll be on the phone yeah, yeah, yeah. and calling people. Exactly. No problem. Have a good day. Right? Same I'm, to you. I'm curious why you don't care about the, hey, the man, protesters alone. against the war. He's trying to do his job. You know what? I really don't care. Yeah, I've got a. You don't yeah, care about American soldiers somewhere. getting killed? It's not what I'm here for, buddy. It's not your story? Nope, not today. Nope, not today. What corporate media do you work for? People access, like you, Bob. Yeah. yeah. Make a DVD and put it at a film festival. Yeah. See you on the internet. Yeah, see you on YouTube. That's just a little bit of taste of uh, the mood of corporate media today.